Hi guys, welcome to Tech Press. In this video, I'll show you how to download Windows Star apps for offline usage like its .appx file so that you can actually reuse the app file to install it on another computer or you can use it in the future if there is any problem with the uh, app installation and you can use that file to reinstall instead of downloading it again. So first thing you need to download this app, Telerik Fiddler. Then once you download it, install it. Installation is straightforward. I have already installed it on my computer and I, I use it. So I'll show you how to use it, okay? So once you installed it, just launch that application. So just go to Windows Configuration and it'll warn you the Windows, then click Yes. Then after that, you get this window. So App Container, Look Back, uh, Exemption Utility. This is where you set it to you know, for security and reliability reasons, Windows blocks immersive apps for sending network traffic to the local computer. So it stops sending network traffic to the local computer. So what it actually does is that it takes some toll and enable this feature. So, uh, you know, what networks traffics are coming to your computer and you can use that uh, details to uh, copy its URL and for many other purposes. Okay. And also for debugging purposes. So that's the intention of this tool, but you can also use that to download these apps uh, from Windows Store for offline usage. Here you can see that uh, all have been exempted. In your case, it's new. Just click exempt all, then set it to exempt all. But I'll show you save and exempt all, and you can see that save changes. So click exempt all, then click save, save changes, then close it, then go to Windows Store and choose the app you want to download for offline usage then click get and it'll start downloading and you will see the traffic coming through this application and you can see that actually the traffic to your Windows Store can actually be recognized by its URL and you can also use this tool find tool and type in the keyword that you want to search for for here it may be appx or sometimes it could be EAPPX. Windows is actually using a new method to deliver apps. It's a form of encryption. So in that case, its uh, application extension is .EAPPX. Okay, so click find. Uh, anyway, before you get any traffic to your computer, you, know, you need to choose the drive that you want to install if you have uh, changed the installation, you know, app installation drive the default app installation drive if you have changed it okay that in this case you know this needs to be installed on your system drive okay in that case it needs to be installed on my system drive then only it will work but for my other apps i actually install it on my other drive so if you want to know about that how to set it to install apps on different drive other than the c you can see my other video okay so anyway click install starting the installation so here you can see that the traffic will come through this application you can copy the URL that you want to download. It will take a few minutes, it's a current license and you can see the progress here. So this is, these are the URLs, these are the traffic from uh, Windows Store. So you can copy any of these uh, URLs actually but you can make sure that you are actually copying the URL to the application okay so in that case that's what I said just dot eappx that's the format that nowadays Windows uses for apps so click find sessions so it's not using that one in this case maybe it's app dot appx okay so, so this application uses dot appx file instead of dot eappx it's not encrypted okay so it's much better much much easier because you can once you have downloaded on your computer you can easily install by double clicking the app so just copy this when you copy just make sure that you copy uh, the url with the result of 206 okay just right click and copy just url okay that's it then you can use either your browser to download this app or if you have any download manager like this one for example I have a download manager here mm, like this one pre-download manager you can use download manager instead of using the browser 
because the good thing about download manager is that you know it's much faster compared to the browser and you can set it to use all the bandwidth to download it faster okay that's the best thing about some download managers or you can use a browser just copy and paste the, this URL that you copied from the tel telerik then click enter and it will start downloading so before that sometimes if there is some issues with their network you need to close this then only it will start downloading stop here okay and you see this you need to save this file this is from uh, the browser you need to save this where you want to save just choose the folder that you want to save it to or you use the download manager just this is the download manager I have and here you can see that if I want to add a URL just click this plus button and paste it there and click download and start downloading it will show you the file and you can choose the folder that, that you want to save to that I have already chosen that folder and you can also schedule this like for later you can set a time but however when it comes to Windows Store apps this URL will only last for a few minutes to a few hours so once you copy that just download right away otherwise this will expire so you need to make sure that you actually download the apps before it actually expires okay then click download it will start downloading so here you can see this icon so we are sure that it's downloading the IPPX file so before you start downloading once you copy the URL from Telerik just close that app because you know when the traffic goes through that sometimes it will take a few minutes sometimes even prevent download manager or a browser from capturing or starting the download okay and once you have done that you can just delete this download okay so it will take a few minutes to a few hours depending on the internet that you have and the internet speed so once you download it you can just double click and and here you can see that I have a few apps here downloaded already so if you want to install an appx dot appx file just double click that and it will show this window it, it's been already installed that so it shows that launch okay otherwise you will have this an install button this just click install button and it will install the application but when it comes to .eappx, if you are downloading eappx, you need to use a different method to install that application. I'll show you in another video. Okay. So I hope this helps. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos, tips and tricks like this. And thanks for watching.